Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. Good to be back. Yeah. Good. Good to be home for a little bit. <laughs> yes. Yes, actually, it's, it's, it's good to be back for two seconds. Everyone called me Uncle Frank when I came in the house, so, you know. Yeah, they don't know who you are. No, they don't know who I am. They're like, Mommy, there's some strange man in the house. <laughs> a bear, whatever. Yeah. There's a bear in, in, the, in the house. So, so but, well, anyway, before we get started here, Goose, I just want to hit you up with this one. You ready? Yeah. Why do polar bears or panda bears... Why do panda bears like old movies? Why do panda bears like old movies? I know why. I know why. Should I say why? Go for it. Let's see if you know it. They're black and white. Oh, yeah! Ghost, run away! Ghost, run away! Very good, Ghost. Very good, buddy. Proud of you. Thanks. All right, so carry on. Let's get going here with this uh, little show. So I guess... uh, So we just got back. That that had to be most one of the, the most brutal... Little runs we ever have encountered in the yeah in the history of Black Label one yeah. plus years of Black Label. Forget it, man. It was crazy. Doom. I mean, we were a half hour in. Yeah, this crusade with uh, Nita and uh, Nita Strauss and yeah. Jared. Yeah, and the Blackstone Cherry fellows at the end there. Yeah, but uh, yeah. I mean, the the bus got hit thirty minutes in. It the uh, what was it a Tesla? Yeah, because we, well, we left at what two thirty three. Yeah, we no, we left at four in the morning. I was still awake. We left at four in the morning, right? We got about a half hour, and I was in my bunk at this point, and I heard a boom, right? And uh, you probably obviously you heard it. You were right there. Well, it, well I went, I'll probably hit the sack. I was probably sleeping. Oh yeah, but did you? I, hear, I usually hit the hay around three. Did you hear the like the? the yeah, I, I was like boom. I, like oh, I didn't know. Wow. I fi- I figured it was a flat tire. Right. Yeah, exactly. I figured it was a boom, and then I and I heard us like pull over to the side of the road. Yep. And I figured we got a flat, and I was like, ah, I was like, either they're gonna have to get it. We'll yeah. figure. So I, I just figured yeah. I'd go back to sleep because it's not gonna. What's the difference if I get up yeah. anyway and check yeah. it out? And you needed your beauty sleep anyway. Exactly. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it was a Tesla that hit. The, the back of our trailer, because we had a bus in the trailer, hit the back of the trailer and pushed the trailer into the back of the bus. And what? Oh. <laughs> I was not there. I know, and I know what this move is all about. It's about to get me out and get, get Kid Dynamite in. <laughs> we tried. I mean, I, you know, me out. Tried. But I, I knew what was going on. But I mean, but the whole thing is because, you know, uh, yeah, well, you know, I could barely contain myself. He has a good clue. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, uh, but it was crazy because it hit our trailer into the bus, and it was a Tesla. If they would have been on autopilot, it would have never happened, man. Well, I mean, and, never. You know, using black label forensics here, I think what probably happened, she probably was either had the GPS on her phone, probably looked down, you know, yeah, whatever she what did. Exit they got to get off or whatever. And I mean, yeah, and then you know how when traffic slows down, yeah, it comes up on you real quick. It's crazy, especially like in Los Angeles. But man, I, if she had the autopilot thing on, it would have never happened. Because it's amazing. It stops. Uh, before, it, it'll stop before you will. You know what I mean? It just well, obviously it, she didn't have it on. No. <laughs> I mean, that, but that car, I didn't see it. I heard the car was pretty mangled. Oh, uh, it was mangled. But that's the whole thing about having a Tesla. So you could put it on that. You know what I mean? So you really, it, like, you, you could be looking down. For a split second, like you said, and the car never does that. You know what I mean? It auto- it'll, it'll what? It'll hit the brakes. It'll hit the brakes, man. And it stops. It has sensors on it, so if you're like within whatever fifty feet of something, or it'll stop you. It's amazing. Yeah. It really, no, I, 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 yeah, just like kind of like the sensor on on the rear of the car, without telling, a, you, a beep, beep. telling you that you're going to hit a curb or whatever. Totally, exactly the same thing, man. And uh, it's got you know tons of cameras on the car, and uh, it's just really it's amazing. It, if if everybody had that, there wouldn't be any accidents. I bet you, because I remember driving like even a Subaru, 
and it, it had all this safety features and stuff, but it wasn't a Tesla, you know. And it, I, I was like, I felt like it was almost driving itself. These things now drive themselves, and they're better than than we would be. I mean, that that accident wouldn't have happened. But anyway, it was crazy. A half hour in, we're going from L.A. to San Diego. Thank God it was only San Diego, because then, yeah, here it is. It's, it's yeah, crazy. There it is. And not only that, this car is like it goes like 180 miles an hour. So it's insane. It's the fastest car I've ever been in in my life. Right? It, like it, it's like a roller coaster when you hit the the gas. Wow. It's, it, it's like a roller coaster. I mean, you feel the G force. It's insane. But anyway, we were at like 30 minutes from LA on our way to San Diego. So <laughs> then it screwed up everybody's sleep. Then after that, and uh, we had to all rent cars. Remember, we got in a, whatever car we got in. I don't even remember. And no, that, yeah, we were in some yeah some tiny little car. Yeah, yeah, and we drove the we drive down to the show. Yeah, that was pretty pretty epic. And yeah. Then, uh, well, yeah, I mean it, the the whole day. I mean it was it was hot. And then it, the, was, no, it was it was pure comedy, bro. And then the next day, and then we had to fly the next day to Reno because we didn't have the bus yet. Yeah, well, yeah, because they they had to figure out well how we're we gonna make it to Reno. Yeah, so we had to book all these flights. Polina had to book all these flights through all this stuff. And again, we had to get up early, and it's, it's just there was no groove. We got into no groove at all, right from the beginning. It was really, it was just crazy. Yeah, I figured, I figured, you know, because we did the 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 three days of boot camp, and I figured, good, we'll yeah. have, I get, I get a good night's sleep, and yep. I'll be ready to roll. Well, that never happened. No, so, no, uh, yeah, it was comedy, man. Right, it was a yeah. sweet special yeah. off at, at that. We never, we never had a bus accident. No. And all like our years, in all our years, we not, thank God nobody nobody got hurt. You know, yeah, the girl didn't get hurt, and the guy that was in the car with her. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I was uh, without a doubt got lucky there. Yeah, but, uh, really, really. Yeah, you know, but I mean, the show was slamming the San Diego chapter. Oh, yeah. and then when we rolled with the Reno chapter, they were yeah, yeah, they crushed it, and so uh, yeah. But I, I mean, it was just comedy, though, man. It was just oh, like you got to me. I know. So we finally we do what five shows in or something six shows in then we had to cancel like six shows. Yeah, well, I mean, I I've never gotten sick like that. I mean, I've oh, I've yeah. had my voice banged up or whatever, but I mean, oh, right. not to the point where we couldn't do shows. Yeah, you know, but, I, uh, I mean, yeah, you know, we've done eleven in a row. We've done ten in a row. I hear you. Dude. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So, and I mean, just like you said, you get a good night's sleep, you're good to go. Yeah, that's so, what I mean. But it's just uh. That was that was brutal, and I, we just had to stop those shows. Yep, and we're making them. I we walked out because the the thing you think about this goose. Thank goodness the two days that got rained out at Rockville, we weren't on one of those days. Oh, I, I, the I, whole point of staying out there while I was sick. I uh, was to get to Rockville exactly, and then we figured we'll make up these other shows at the end of after we get done rolling with Anthrax. Yeah. And hate breed with Father Jamie. So I mean, it was just like, well, we could we could put them back. Well, don't don't cancel them. Right. He shows up, and we'll come back around and we'll knock them out. So, but the whole thing is, uh, that would have been epic if, if Rockville would have got rained out. <laughs> we would have wound up doing like yeah, because we did the show the first day. Yeah. And then that was what Friday. Uh, and so, uh, I Thursday. 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 Thursday, then Friday and Saturday got rained out. Yeah. And then they, they were able to do a, a batch. Of, I think Sunday was Nine Inch Nails was able to do, and I think it was still raining when they were on. Wow, man. That was crazy. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we got to play, and, uh, and everybody that was with us, you know, got to play that night, too. And we, I got to see Kiss for the first time. Yeah. I and, I was, I, and like we said, them being your favorite band growing up, yeah, as a kid, man. Yeah. Yeah. Not the hat on you. You know, Gene was your guy that led you to yeah. Jocko. And he sounded amazing, man. He really killed it. No, they, they, anybody could say whatever they want. Yeah. If they don't like Kiss, but they do not skimp on oh, anything, bro. No. Oh, no. I mean, it, there was, you couldn't even, you couldn't even say, well, they forgot the kitchen sink. There were several yeah. kitchen sinks. They yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. bathroom sink, kitchen sink. It was, was everything. Was a bidet. They threw a bidet at us. <laughs> oh my God! That Godzilla King Kong fighting. It was just, Rodan came in. <laughs> it was like amazing. Then, then you were like, 
that, that the only thing missing here is Keidra. And then next thing, Keidra came in. <laughs> it was okay. I couldn't. I, I couldn't believe they pulled off Keidra even coming. Oh out. man, they really pulled it. It was amazing, dude. I mean, everybody Gene, from Monster yeah. Island was on that stage. It really was. And then, <laughs> then you did say you go, yeah, but they forgot Gamma because you were that was your guy. Yeah, he's a friend of all children. He's a friend of all children. <laughs> <laughs> but they they did they did send Gamma in for the. For the for the encore, <laughs> <laughs> he came out. Um, oh, remember, he was flying, but you yeah, know, yeah, oh, the fire in his legs and stuff. He was, <laughs> he was awesome. <laughs> but yeah, Kiss, Kiss was amazing, man. They sounded great. Wow, man, what a show! What, really great. I mean, it was just like, and you know what's so crazy too? When you really think about it, think about this. When we talk about WWE and and everything like that. And like Gene being up, the whole band being up on the risers and everything like that, right? They're like 60 feet up, bro. Yeah. You know, at the top of those things when they're coming down. Yeah. Bro, if you have a fear of heights, how are you doing that? You need a shit bag with you. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just saying you couldn't. <laughs> well, obviously. And then Paul, how about Paul going out on the, on the, the wire? Yeah, and then Paul going out on the wire. Over the crowd. Yeah. What I'm saying is. Yeah. You. I mean, even though he's holding on and it's secured, he's still not safe from falling. No, he's not harnessed in or nothing. He's just holding on. He's holding on. He could slip, you know. Jesus, man. No, so what I'm just saying is that. Uh, he'd knock it out. Yeah, you say what you, I mean, that takes some athleticism just to pull that off. Totally. You know what I'm saying? How old's Paul now, man? I know, but like, bro, he's like he, posted over to, he, whether he's. 30 feet up. Yeah. Bro, he falls. That's that's not going to be good. No. <laughs> no. And I mean, no. it's just like, and he does it every night. I know. Dude, I fell tonight. <laughs> I was coming down my stairs and I was talking to somebody. I you wiped out. I swear to God, I missed the last step, Zach. And I fuck, I went down, dude, and I my ankles kill me and my shoulder. Well, you had to lay there for a second <laughs> to see what smashed. Is there a bruise here yet? Yes. <laughs> it's looking good. Oh, my. we also look at Rip, so you know, you know, Frank I can't along. believe it. <laughs> I come home <laughs> to the safety of the house. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I wiped it. I've never done that in my life, man. And it is the craziest feeling when you're falling, and you know, <laughs> bro. I did it. I did it in the house before we went on the tour. Remember? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. You told me. Oh, that. it was at rehearsals. The last day of rehearsals, I wiped yeah. out. Yeah, out of the truck or something. No, I was going in, and my boots because the I, my the one yeah, got right. clasped on my other boot, and I just like oh, tipped me up, and I just like I got lassoed. Oh, that's right. I went down, man, and I was just like laying down on a concrete floor, and I'm like crazy, making sure I didn't break anything. <laughs> but your teeth, your teeth, look good. your teeth look great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank God, my teeth are okay. But I mean, yeah, I was like, I could, uh, and I, I said to myself while I was writhing in pain on the ground, I was like, I can barely believe this happened. To oh, me. <laughs> uh, can we mute him? Brian. <laughs> uh, I was going to have to bring yeah. up some, some, some clips from the Grizzly movie in the 70s. Um, I remember. I remember. Uh, do you bring remember? up some of those clips. Remember that movie? Oh, my glory right there, buddy. I remember the review. It was terrible review. It said it was. Oh, well, Jaws. Grizzly? Yeah, it said it was Jaws in a bear suit. Yes. <laughs> it was a great movie. Totally. Well, Jaws was the big rave. It's like, yeah. get me in on some of this action. I know. Did you see it? Did you see Grizzly? Yes, I saw it at Jackson Cinema. I'm trying to think if I saw it. I don't know if I ever even saw it. I don't think I did. I have a trailer up right here, boys. Oh, we'll see, uh, it, you see me, Goose. Motion picture does not cater to fantasy. You will see nature's most savage man-eating animal. <laughs> By its size alone, it can overpower and devour. Look at all these partying teenagers. He's going to eat them all. He's going to get high as hell. Here I come. Yes. Hey, you get your head in the sand. we got a killer grizzly on our hands. Scott, you're a maniac. Always were running around in costumes. There are no grizzlies. <laughs> oh, let's go, Scott. Over 18 feet tall. 18 feet. Wow. 
the largest carnivorous ground beast in the world. June? Look at the paw. One swipe. Anyone is. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Just drop the gun. <laughs> and then the bear picks up the gun. <laughs> what even shoot? What's the point in carrying a gun? Well, the bears get the right, right. Shoot him right in the head, man. This is different. This bum's eating his victims. Why'd they shoot him in the head? Not just a camping guy. They're scared, bro. <laughs> and no That's right. They don't want any piece of me. They're all ducking me. Uh-oh. <laughs> Any man. This is like the whole movie. Yeah, well, you can't question my acting. Look at I'm I'm great in this thing. How tempered. You really and you were young. Totally. Oh, I mean, obviously this is before I. Oh no. <laughs> that thing seems to know what we're thinking. I didn't do anything to that kid in the bunny. I was cool with that. It was just the, the mom. I, you know, <laughs> you devoured. Intelligent beast. You are an intelligent beast. Uh oh, the whole thing's coming down. Look at that. Oh, he's done. Ah, oh, that's gotta hurt. Right, right after that, that's why they did a big steroid probe on me. After that, so like in order to push that whole tower down, he's got to be on steroids. Either that or one of your bear buddies was helping. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Eighteen feet of metal. Wow, bullet didn't even. He thinks he's gonna hit me with the butt end of a gun. He thinks that's gonna hurt me. The deadliest jaws on land. Goodbye. Come to Grizzly. Oh wow! Grizzly Adams. <laughs> I had a great time making that movie. It was it was a lot of fun. <laughs> And the catering was great. Wow. The people on the, the cast, the crew, all long, good people. How long were you there? How long did it shoot? Um, it probably we were we were on set for about six months. Wow, the weather was great. I mean, like I said, I really had a good time. Wow, <laughs> thanks, Goose. Good job. A lot of fun. I still keep in touch with some of the people on that yeah. set. He, well, some of them you ate though. I thought. <laughs> well. Yeah, some of them are no longer here. And then, <laughs> well, 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 Zach, why don't you tell them about uh, the sequel, Grizzly? T no, <laughs> what happened now? Grizzly killed again. <laughs> it's this time. I don't want a cloud of fear on this concert. Now you get that, Grizzly. Get it now. Oh, gotta have the concert. The grizzly we're seeking is huge. Uh -oh. And probably enraged. I hell. Look at the chaos. Absolute utter chaos, dude. Amazing. <laughs> the revenge. Who was it? Done? <laughs> I wasn't sure why I was there, but I mean, you know, I wasn't there for revenge. I was actually there. I just wanted, I just wanted a cup of coffee. That would have been great if Grizzly Adams would have been. <laughs> yeah, maybe he would have been it. He came to revenge the Grizzly. <laughs> oh my God! But anyways, yeah. Wow. Yep. 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 Wow, yeah, so. good old days, Zach. Good, good yeah, after. Those are good. Those are good days. Good times, good times. Good times. What's going on, gang? Zach Wild and the Goose here. We want to take a quick second and thank one of our newest sponsors yeah. and a company that's been supporting our bands for years now, the yeah. Mad Viking Beard Company. The team at Mad Viking has one purpose. It's to help their bearded and tattooed brothers of the world become their absolute best. They believe it's not enough. To only look good, but you must also feel good and live life to its fullest, Goose! The Mad Viking Brotherhood is strong, Zachy, and has partnered with Black Label Society to bring our fans a top-notch collaboration to commemorate the anniversary of the Sonic Brew debut release. That's right. 
made with premium ingredients and yeah. a unique scent profile Ooh. created specifically for the Sonic Brew release, Goose. Ooh. The Black Label Society Beard Care line is a must-have for Ooh. all the bearded metalheads. Yeah. And of course, <laughs> just like all their other products, is proudly made in a USA. <laughs> In addition to the Black Label Society line, check out all their other beard and skincare products. And one of my personal favorites, the Tattoo Bomb. Oh, yeah. Look, we have a lot of time and money invested in our ink, and it doesn't make sense to use subpar, overpriced, or generic bomb on our hearts. Go check out MadVikingBeard.com for their full line of hair and skincare products. While you're there, make sure you get the Black Label Society Sonic Brew anniversary line before it's gone. Oh, yeah, Goose. Yeah. Again, that's at MadVikingBeard.com. Yeah. And use promo code BLS20 for right. 20% off your next order. And join the horde of guys making a switch to Mad Viking. Yeah! Yeah! But uh hey, you know, Goose, I, I, you know, we got done with this uh with yeah. this little run over here. So now we're getting ready to go over to Europe. Yeah, we're leaving Tuesday already. Yeah, this ought to be an interesting run. No, no, uh, no yeah. submarine. No sub over there. So we'll be flying every show. Which is crazy. We've never ever done this. No, we've never done. Yeah, but then again, but look at look at South America, though, right? That's what we do there. Well, that's because they're they're so far away. Everything. But that's what I'm saying. So I mean, I you know, I guess you know, not the but either. It's yeah. going to be kind of similar to that. Very similar. I mean, yeah, we'll have a hotel and you know, but there'll be no bus. That's it. Yeah. So there's going to be a few of them where we fly into the gig. I think there's like four of those. So. They're going to be a little bit tough, you know, but as long as we get sleep, you know, you'll be all right. Just roll in and, and just ready yeah. to roll. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And then we got a couple of them. I mean, what? Festivals? Oh, oh yeah. Download, uh, Hellfest, Grass Pop, all these massive festivals. Well, the Hellfest is great. I think every band, every even bands that have been broken up for 32 years have gotten back together just to be on the I, I, I know. That's why there's no buses. <laughs> Yeah, I every band I out in the world. No, it's gone. It's crazy, and I heard that a lot of it. A lot of it is too, because uh, these people are getting extra drivers just in case they get sick or something or whatever, and all this. Oh, because of the COVID thing. Yeah. Yeah. So that's been happening. So they, if somebody has it, you can bring in the other guy. So that's why we couldn't get drivers or buses. And a lot of the festivals now are having buses right on the site. Rather than send the people to a hotel, they're putting buses right there now. So that took up a lot of them as well. So it's amazing that everybody is out, though, now over there because nobody's been there in years. Wow. We haven't been there. Yeah, it's, just a, it's a complete mess. Yeah, it's like totally. It's like every, like you said, every band is on these festivals. Like every one. It's yeah. Crazy. It really, I mean, it really is insane. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but that'll be fun. You haven't been there, you know, and I don't even know when the last time was. 19, maybe? Or 18? Um, I'm not sure. Probably 2018. Yeah, probably. Like four the years. Last time we did a lot of the festivals. Yep. So there's four years already. Yeah, like that, a high school term again. Yeah. They keep coming, man. Flying by, bro. Totally, man. That's totally. Uh, you know, I mean, it's like when I look at when I made those two movies, those, uh, those grizzly movies. I mean, it, it seems like it wasn't that long ago. When I was, the other one, the first one, was in the seventies. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. That was a long time ago, then. Yes. That's like, well, here we go, Goose. There's the bill with everybody on it. Come on, get back, 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 right? Yeah, I can't see. So you got to tell wow. me. Why wow, everybody? Yeah, there's, name me oh, one dude that isn't on this bill. It's really crazy, man. Wow. Oh wait, wait. Is Kiss on it? Uh. They gotta be on there somewhere. I don't think so. There are three hundred and fifty bands wow. signed up for the festival, and wow. and three hundred and forty of them suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a goose, <laughs> including us, of course. Oh my god, so epic! That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> goose, so do you listen to any new bands? You listen to new music? No, I don't listen to music. 
<laughs> I don't listen to anything when I'm home. No, I don't listen to I don't listen to Black Label. I don't listen to anything. No. Nope. Oh, no. Nope. Sports radio. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I mean, like you said, that's what I, we, you know, we John Roth. Yeah, he does. What, what do you usually listen to when you're home? I listen to nothing. 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 Wow. You know? Yeah. I, know, I mean, like, I he doesn't even like listening to like stuff he likes. Yeah, right. Not even just like in the house cooking or anything. You know what I mean? Just have yeah. gone and stuff. Yeah, like we're just chilling out. No. no yeah. We're going for a walk. Nothing. Right. No, nothing. Well, guys, we do have a question that came in through the email, wildgoosepodcast at gmail. Wait on us. What do they want to know? Zach, question for you. If your lead tone is the ultimate warrior, what would you consider your rhythm tone? And one other question. <laughs> what was it like getting roasted by Stone Cold Steve Austin? Thanks, dudes. All right. Wrestling. Now, Goose, what did you just say? I'm muted? No, no, I thought Brian was muted, but he's not. Okay. I, I wish you were muted, but I can't have everything. Thank you. Thank you. So, so Goosey threw in that the ultimate warrior kind of yeah. thing, yeah. you know. You know Katie was never really a warrior guy, considering yeah. the Bon Jovi of wrestling. At yeah. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, but the, the, the warrior was wanted dead or alive, bro. <laughs> he was by a lot he of people. He was. He was, man. Officer wanted him. But my, I don't know, so, uh, well, I guess if my lead tone is the ultimate warrior, what would you say the rhythm tone is? What are you, what are you going with, Goose? Mm, that's a good one. Well, is it, is it as beefy as Bruno San Martino's oh, chest? That's true. He is the barrel. He, he is the barrel. Right? And that is a and, – and, and that's without hitting a gym. I mean, he was just a large man. I mean, no, when he went to high school, he was that big. Remember that picture we saw him and Arnold? Yeah, he dwarfed Arnold. Insane. It's like, wow. And Arnold was still huge. Oh, yeah, totally. But Bruno was just that big, man. Yeah, just a huge human being. So there you go. That's a, that's a good one. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, we'll go with Bruno for the rhythm tone. Bruno. Warrior for the lead tone. Yeah. And then he wanted to know what it was like getting roasted from Steve. But Steve, I guess uh, it was awesome. When I saw Steve yeah. coming out of that and the whole thing, you know, here's some deodorant. Learn yeah. how to use it. Nope. <laughs> here's a toothbrush. You got to brush your teeth. You stink. That's great. Oh, boy. Yeah. And, uh, Steve's awesome. You got to love Father Steve. I, 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 so awesome that everybody was able to put their two cents in there and just yeah. him. It was great. It was. I was honored by everyone crushing me. It was. And a JD lot. loved every second of it. Oh, yeah. I was cheering. Totally. It was definitely a, a pure honor and a joy being completely destroyed by everyone I care about. Yeah, it, it was, was great. awesome. It was awesome. It really was. Yeah, buddy. What is a bear's favorite pie? A bear's favorite pie? Hmm. I don't yeah. know. What is a bear's I'll tell you what it is. What is it? Blue berry pie. Blue berry pie. Oh. <laughs> Woo. Wow. There you go. You're going to hit out with Wow. Come on, you're going to be a hit at the next party, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next time you go down to the playpen, you got to hit him with these jokes. <laughs> wow, that's been gone for quite some time. <laughs> totally. Yeah. And, you know, not only these these like awesome jokes, they're educational as well. They are. Who knew right. that that blueberry pie was a bear's favorite pie? Not me. I totally. But now you know. So like you know, people go, oh wow, okay. <laughs> well, so, you, like if you if you need to like like if if a bear's about to attack you, just, like you just go, bro. Is there any blueberry pie around just to like save everybody? Yeah. Right. Well, you have to carry one in the woods with you at all times. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, which you hey. should, anyways, you know, because you never know. Just, and it's the not, moment shall strike. And if you don't see a bear, it's delicious anyway. You then see. you have it yourself. Exactly. We got some guitar questions here if you if you want to answer some of those, Zach. Lay it on us, man, goose will attack. All right. So Lauren Weinberg wants to know uh if you can talk about your picking technique. Specifically, do you use uh the forearm elbow up and down or do you wrist pick? Or do you put your you get your finger way up there? Yeah, <laughs> way in there, right? 
Just like that. That's not up to the knuckle. They're up to the knuckle. <laughs> we can go thumbs. <laughs> wow, that's that's quite yeah. That's quite some nostrils. Yeah, I felt good. I could feel it all the way up. Ah, nice. But uh, no, I guess picking picking's a weird thing. I mean, because it really is like batting JD. Yeah, everybody has their own yeah. Like, yeah, you could show people how to do it, like batting. Yeah, you know that because basically what you want is you know obviously the best is you know if anyone's t- talking about speed the the less movement right the better i mean i'm saying when you see like frank these guys on youtube or instagram you know just yeah. like completely if they're if they're showing examples yeah that are, have great picking it just you well, it just makes common sense you just want it as as little the, movement uh, as yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But uh and then they also you know, have you know, look at how many people use hold picks differently. I mean, like Eddie Van Halen held it with his middle finger. Yep. Which was like comfortable for him. So I mean, right. and then Steve Morris holds it with his two fingers. Right. You know, so Steve Morris does it like this, and then you got I mean, remember Randy was always like this all the time. Yeah. Yep. When he was picking with his hands would be always be like right. that. And then it's just uh and then Al Demiola's technique and John McLaughlin and Paco yep. because he's using his fingers. Yeah. But I mean, when you look at Al and John, they're they both hold the pick differently. Did you ever use that like that technique like Gambali? Did you ever do it like that? Was using his thumb and what his index like this? Because it was like well, I mean, look at the way Ingbe Ingbe down up moves very little as well. Right, right. It was like down up down or something. I mean, well, mine would always be like, it depends on what you're doing. If it's three notes of string, it's yeah. down, up, down, then right. down, up, down. But I mean, I guess it would be down, up, down, and you would go like, up. I, exactly. up. That's like what, what some of them cats do. But I, yeah, don't, I, guess I, don't, I, I mean, economically, I guess that would make more sense. Totally. Yeah. You know, because once again, you want to be able to do the less, the least amount of movement as you can. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Ingay's technique is like, I mean, it's flawless. But, I mean, it's just like when you watch his picking technique yeah. compared to when he started, when you watch some of the Alcatraz stuff to and rising force compared to now. Right. Uh, he's barely moving at all. And he's hitting everything, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because I don't think he's hammering on or pulling off really anything. Yeah. He's picking it all. Yeah. You know, so. And the, but then, you know, you look at, you look at Holdsworth and it, he's barely picking anything. Yeah, I hear you. Well, like you said, other, he, otherwise he's not getting that legato sound if he's right. picking it again. And when you pick, you pick hard, like you pick with your, your arm. Yeah, I think I use a lot of forearm. Forearm and, uh, you know, right. it's wrist. But, I mean, unless I'm doing like a, you know, the Eddie Van Halen, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. then it's like that. But I, yeah, it's a flamingo totally. thing, you know, yeah. but like yeah. aside of that, it's kind of, yeah. not, not so much this, but, I mean, it's just. Definitely more form. I definitely move more than what Ingbe yeah. does. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but then again, it keeps up with the whole grizzly thing. <laughs> keeps you in shape. <laughs> hey, look at it. It's the picking technique's more of this. Oh. <laughs> wiping, wiping. Right. <laughs> slashing, slashing. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Cool. Oh, but, you know, I think that would be it, Brian. That's so we, all right. So we got another question here from Ron Rankin, and he wants to know, how do you plug everything into the front of your amp and then turn it up to 10 and not have any noise? Um, I don't know. I mean, well, it, like, you know, we always check out all the amps before the tour. Well, dude, when you, when you press the distortion pedal on, it's noise. Yeah, there's going to be air. It almost sounds like a waterfall. <laughs> Like yeah, what, did Randy, what did Randy call it? The chip pan, right? Or Ozzy called? Well, yeah. If, if, if it's like super noisy. Yeah. You know? yeah. But I mean, Shh. yeah. But I mean, yeah. It sounds like a chip pan. Like you're talking, yeah, yeah. Fry, fry, but I mean, or it just sounds like white noise on your TV. Yeah. yeah, yeah, totally. But that's usually when you put the pedal in. When you don't have the pedal in, though, I don't think it it, it does. No, there's that no at noise at all. No, I, mean, I just have the master up on the amp. Yeah, no, and the right. pedal's not on. There's no noise at all. No, it's just when. And I mean, the only time the only time we leave the pedal on is in between certain songs. So there's intro music going on, so you're not hearing that noise anyways. Yeah, right. 
it's in the middle, of, you know, the, the, or the band is playing or something, and you just turn yeah. it off. And off. But I mean, yeah. Otherwise, if you're not, if you have the volume up on your guitar, the guitar it's going to be screaming, without a doubt. Yeah, that pedal's on. And yeah, yeah, forget about it. Oh yeah, you can't, you can't do that. No, no, you got to have it off. Got to have it off. That's really it. Next question. That's it for questions this week. But uh, if you want the guys to answer your question, send in your questions once again, preferably video question to wildgoosepodcast at gmail.com. And if you want to catch the episodes before anybody else, you can sign up at gasdigitalnetwork.com. Use promo code BLS and get a seven day free trial. All right, Goose, you ready? I'm ready. All right, buddy, here we go. What do you call a bear with a bad attitude? A bear. With a bad, bad attitude. Hmm. I don't know. What is it? A bear of bad news. A bear of bad news. <laughs> you didn't mean that coming. No. Nah, you didn't see it coming, did you, Goose? I did not. I didn't see that at all. Oh, I'm too much, man. I'm too much. I'm, I can't help it. <laughs> well, on that note. Well, Goose, it was great talking to you once again. As always, buddy. And, uh, yeah, you know, you got to love tours like that last one. There's always adventures going on with that one. I'm, I'm oh, sure it's going to be sure. I, I can't see there not being any adventures on this upcoming, uh, you know, no, no. Uh, across uh, Europe. Well, yeah, this, ought be, this ought to be some sheer black label shenanigans once again. Well, we never did a whole Europe tour with flying, so no. right there it's going to be different. You know? oh, Goose, all I got to say about that is I can barely contain myself. Yeah. <laughs> we barely will. <laughs> we all barely will. Uh, we'll oh, yeah, there you go, buddy. All right, Goose. Love you, buddy. I'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, Zaggy, boy.